But anyways, um, Faithful F Philosopher, hang on a second. Were you the one that said to shout out my channel? Because I was just about to go off the line. I made it to your live show. Awesome. I, I, was it you that said give my show a shout out? And I said try to make it to the live stream. Yes, it was. Now, you see, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Timing. Timing and, like, everything working together. Like, when I saw that, I said, oh, man, I really would like to shout you out. But I'm never going to remember. I, there's so many people I would like to shout out. But I took a second to say, make it to the live show. And um, if I see you, I will. So, boom. You see? I'm a man of my word. Daniel Bowers, faithful philosopher. Kevin Rose, hit that like button. Yes. Thank God for YouTube. Yeah, I agree, faithful philosopher. I agree. Thank God. Thank God for everything, really. We need a new world order. Mr. Buckles, uh, uh, why don't you tell us uh, what, what happened? Oh, well, I was uh, uh, walking outside and, uh, and uh, I saw this pig fall out the sky. And, uh, oh, just, uh, just let me interrupt you a second time. You know, where, where is he sitting? He goes, well, you mean the light? <laughs> there it is. The light, there it is. And it sort of dawned on me, didn't it? This made more sense. It was very, very simple. And easy to do. You sit there, you close your eyes in a darkened room, or with one light, you know, if you want. It doesn't make much difference. You sit there and be patient. See the light. I think we all know this is the thing that we all know has been going to happen. We've all known it in our subconscious. Many people will um, be in denial of it. And if you try and have conversations with them about some of the oddities going on in the last three years, then they'll uh, get quite cross. <laughs> And then I was just looking at the stars and I was thinking, be like the heavens coming to earth. And then I said in my mind, the heavens are coming to earth. They're coming. And I immediately saw a huge shooting star, <clears throat> biggest one I've ever seen in my life. And the fear block, you're going to have to face it. And you know what? As soon as you face it, you're most of the way through. And it's like any of those with the unpleasant emotions. As soon as you agree to face them, God just gives you love. <laughs> For those of you who don't believe in God, <clears throat> start believing, because uh, you're going to need him. Her, him, her, he, she, he, she created all of us, created our souls, created the universe, created the laws of the universe. And within that, he gave us free will, all of our souls. We have free will. We can do what we want. This will still be the same. So, as I was explaining last time, I feel God's love enter me directly. And it may sometimes go slightly around the back part. And they can go around the edge as well. I mean, they can... There's a... There's a a, like a, an, an exterior to your soul. There is a defined uh, start and end of your soul. Truth. Truth is the foundation of love. Right, what just happened then is I was feeling God and then 
a multitude of spirits um, were interested and wanted to get in on what I was doing. Now you've got to get deep to understand this. We're in Mother God and Father God stands right by. And when I mean we're in the universe, us, everything, in Mother God. And I am certainly having a spiritual journey. It's the the understanding of it which which helps, you know. Really is amazing. Um because it gives you, you know, the understanding of it gives you the power over it because you understand, you know what to do and what not to do. I mean, just just accept that the truth is awesome. Be a believer. Be a believer. Because I, if I didn't believe, I wouldn't feel anything got to believe it and then you then you put trust in what right whatever I'm gonna feel I'm gonna put up with you will be disturbed but endure and you will be astonished I don't come on here with facts and figures numbers and statistics and tell you that it's true right because numbers and statistics don't necessarily do that you would have to have numbers and statistics from every angle. It would just get too confusing and boring. No, instead I just use pure logic. Then, um, you know, love is probably the most used word and also the most underestimated thing in and outside of the universe. This video or not, but um, it's very important for feeling God's love is to love yourself. It is June 24th, 2015. We've got one year. May, June 2016 is when the upheaval will occur. The title of this video is it's June the 22nd or 23rd 2016 that is the day or that is when the hour of the Lord happens as I think it will be an hour, or it will be within an hour that this thing happens.
a father and he wants to be their father. Now, that's his flaw. Because it's correct to recognize that the baby is the, the coolest condition of any of us. And we all go downhill after that. <laughs> Philosopher, bro. Hey, man, I want to look at you right in the eyes through this camera and say thank you from my heart for what you said. It's just like jumping out of us, right? We want to tell everybody we want to get on a mountain and just scream, but the knowledge protects itself, right? This is something that has to be earned. You have to work for this, otherwise, it's not, you don't get the same shit out of it, right? When he said that, I know that Thomas has God in his heart and I don't need to explain myself to him. That's really important. I actually said that exact same thing to somebody last night, believe it or not. Because something about taking that responsibility and knowing that it's in the best hands that it can be in, it really allows you to get your ego out of the way. I would, I would like to drag on, but it was necessary. Yo, faithful philosopher, this guy, he, he is very kind and that was very nice of him to do that, and you should check out this guy's hair, yo. If you guys understood what was going on, you would know that it's not good to ever cut your hair. You're not supposed to. The hair is like an antenna, right? Same thing with the, the food we eat, like our shit's not supposed to stink, yo. So anyone who looks at this guy and goes, hey man, that's kind of weird looking. No, that's right looking. You're weird looking. Got it? All right, yo, I'm going back inside. If I missed anything, I'll get it later. I got the rest of the fucking universe to do it. I'll do a quick update on my video where I said the name of God is dot, dot, dot. Um, so I've had quite a few shit days, actually. Um been quite ill and um, you know sort of wondering what was going on and I've just sort of worked it out <laughs> so that's good I'm feeling much better so I was saying the name of God is Jesus and Maria okay so um, I will now <laughs> just tell you what I think is c correct and that the name of God is Jesus but it applies to both mother and father God so they say keep it real what's real the things you feel are real sensations emotion love you know God you know you know me, you know everything I've done. That that was my feeling. And I and I was just like 
Well, it was me, my realisation that God knew everything. That made me open. And I was taken by this feeling and I saw all my bad bits. They just came up, bad things I'd done, just, they just came up, dum 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 dum. And I felt like I didn't deserve to exist during that. And I can't remember how long it went on. Maybe a couple of minutes. Felt like a few minutes. And then I remembered I had good bits. And I was glad that I had done some good things. Because in front of God right there, it was a really nice feeling. Right? Opposite of what I just felt. And it was as if those bad bits had just been burnt up. Just, they're just gone. Forever. And I don't mind that, yes, parts of my life, gone forever, <sighs> don't exist. So that's what I know. First hand, I know that's what happens. And since then, I've, I've had a couple, of, a couple more times, you know, time passes, doesn't it? It didn't, wasn't. As though I was perfect, as so I never did anything bad again. So, you know, a few times now in my life, I've had that. What's that? That's not baptism of fire. Okay.